All right, people. All right, what it do? What it do? So we're gonna clear up a couple things and let y'all know what's going on. So first, I'm no longer at the port. So for those that forgot to follow, um, pretty much the only reason I was at the port was because the port was refusing to escort people in. So the broker um, pretty much was paying me. That dog thing is that hit. Look at him. The broker was pretty much paying me to go there to escort, to pretty much take the trailers in, get them loaded, get them back out. So somebody pretty much came in, was like, hey, I'm looking for my escort. You know, broker already paid him. What's up? The people asked the right questions, find out the broker was paying me $300 per trailer. And now the port is now taking over to where they're escorting um, the guys in now. And they're charging them $200 to escort in. So that's why I'm no longer at the port. Um, second, what we got. I'm actually in the process of um, getting Big Daddy OTR ready. So um, we're going to do a couple quick things to Big Daddy. No, nothing major. Um, I'm going to probably um, insulate the floors, put down some sound deadening. Um, I'm going to probably do the floors. Nothing like dr drastic, you know, something that, that might cost me like two or $300 just to have it a little more comfortable. Go get my generator, get my portable AC because I'm, I'm not rocking no APU. So I'm going to have those ready. Um, Big Daddy's more than likely going to go in the shop to get the Jakes, um, figure out why the Jakes aren't working, get them fixed. Figure out why the cruise control isn't working, get it fixed. Um, get the ECM tuned. I'll probably get that done by Big John. Um, let me think. Is there anything else? I think trailer, truck wise, everything else will be fine. Um, trailer. Um, I just had the DOT inspection done on the truck and trailer this past Saturday, and um, both of them passed. I did have like two tires that were um, on the lower tread side, so. But in reality, it's about four of them that are like in single single digit numbers. And then I got um you know the other four that they're in like tw 13 you know um tread depth or whatever 13 30 seconds or something 14 30 seconds whatever the tread depth is it was good it was double digits so you know we should be fine on that one. So I'll probably end up changing out four tires on the trailer, and then um truck and trailer should be ready to hit the road. Damn, she fine. Um. As far as brokers, man, um, I'm at a point which I, I actually like it, but then it's kind of a bad thing too. But um, now you know I haven't I haven't really caught any loads. Cause I, I've um, these brokers they pretty much just text me. You know, I give them my number. I say, hey, you know, just send me a text message when, when uh, you want me or you need me. And that's where we get to a point to where they hit me up. Hey, I got this. You know, I got a Beaumont to Beaumont or Orange to Baytown or whatever. You know, what I'm saying, can you run it? They already know my rate. I either just tell them yes or no, then they go ahead and send the rate con. So that's what we're on now. Um, I'm giving it about three weeks to see how this plays out. If it keeps me busy enough to where I'm making a decent amount of money, then I'm not going to really change anything up. But for whatever the fact, if it's only like, you know, once or twice a week where this is going down, which as of right now is a little more consistent, but, you know, good things don't last always. So um, pretty much, like I said, I'm pretty much going to play it out. Um, I didn't work today because I got a couple of personal things uh, situated with the bins. And um, we're probably going to be running at OTR. I've been checking the load board. Um, they got a lot of light freight, but it's going farther. You know, I'm, not often I can find a light load that's, um, let's say, you know, 30,000 pounds or, or lighter. That's that's in my running area, you know. And when I do find those loads, they aren't paying wor worth the crap to where I can find a load that's going up, let's say, seven, 800 miles. You know what I'm saying? And they're offering 24, 25, 28, whatever, something around that range. So if um, I can give me pretty much some one day to one and a half day runs and, um, you know, we're light and we can do, you know, at least 20 to at least 25 for the day, then we'll be good on it. So, like I said, we are going to get ready to run it more regional, but still OTR ish. Um, pretty much pretty much do that same triangle that I was doing whenever I was at VL. Um, I'm also hanging up the idea of getting another trailer or at least a flatbed trailer because the last guy I. Um, trailer I went and looked at it pretty much got confrontational when I um told him he wasted my time coming to look at the trailer you know I'm telling him what's wrong with it and he's I already know what's wrong with it oh uh, you ain't got to tell me I'm like yeah but you didn't tell me before I came man so you pretty much wasted my time then on top of that you don't even have the title to the trailer so I mean you know I'm not interested you know and um, like I said he pretty much got mad or whatever and hey I dipped out on him man you know so it is what it is so I'm gonna take it as a sign that um 
you know, hey, we're just going to stick to the van for now. Um, me trying to get it on, on, a, on a decent price range from these personal sellers and stuff, man. Um, they pretty much rag the, the equipment out. Then they want to sell it whenever, it, um, you know, it's, cost, it's time to either renew the DOT inspection or something like that. Or, you know, they're doing whatever it is. Or they're trying to sell their crap for the price of gold is what I usually say. So um, that's pretty much the update. That's what we got going on. Like I said, um, finna get ready to get Big Daddy um, OTR ready. Um, I got brokers that pretty much text me now on the daily, asking if you know if I have a truck that can do this, if I can do that. Which you know, I have yet to be able to tell somebody no, I can't do it. You know, um, especially like the Beaumont to Beaumonts. You know, like I said, these Beaumont to Beaumonts are nine mile runs, man, and I'm getting them for five hundred dollars. So you know, I'm cool with that. Shipper usually takes about two hours. Um, the receiver usually takes about two hours. So, you know, you do the math on that. Um, nine mile drive, it takes about 15 minutes to get there. Um, I mean, hey, you're technically getting paid about $100 an hour uh, before, you know, the company gets their cut. Um, let me see. Anything else? Anything else? Anything else? Um, I also add in there um, RIP to J. You know, that's a hard pill to swallow when you know you got a working man taking care of his family and you know things happen and i hope a lot of guys that's on youtube take that to heart man when you see people they, they try to talk trash talk you and talk mess about you they want to degrade you and all this crap and you know all he was doing was trying to build a build you know a legacy for his family take care of his family i am leave it at that um like i said moving forward um also another thing i'm no longer gonna be sharing my numbers with you guys because um there are going to be some changes here shortly in my business aspect so i will no longer be sharing my numbers what i'm making what i'm grossing or what i'm spending so you know any loads moving forward i will not be telling my rates what i'm getting paid for them um even on equipment if i buy any more equipment i will no longer be um, posting the price that i get them for um and there's nothing personal to anybody else it's just some changes that i have to do so I can set things up to run the way I want. I don't want too many people in my business and I don't need potential drivers questioning me on, on, on this or that, if that makes any sense. So, um, hey, if you have any questions or concerns, um, drop it in the comment section below. If you want to get in contact with me, send me an email at truckingwithbigdaddy at gmail.com. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. But let me also add a side note, man. Um, if you email me, and I don't respond to you, it's typically because you're asking me something that I said in a video, you know, and if you want the information, watch the video. If you comment under any of my videos and I didn't respond to you, it's more than likely um, I answered whatever you was asking in the video and you just didn't get to the point, you know. Some of these guys, some of you guys are watching the video, y'all watch two or three minutes or y'all read the caption and then you start asking questions instead of watching the video, man. And you watch the video, I can guarantee you it's gonna answer your questions. Any questions about VL trucking, go watch all my VL trucking videos. I can guarantee you it'll, it'll answer, I'll answer any questions you've had about them.